Happy Saturday, everybody. I'm actually in the middle of my work day. I just finished my lunch, um, but I had to show you this adorable puppy thing that's happening right now. So if you've been watching the videos for a while, um, you know that them sharing Gadget's dog bed is no surprise, but I had to tell a little background story. Um, Gadget was in it earlier, and then uh, I took them outside, and then when we came back, Gizmo dove in it first, and Gadget will never go in to it if Gizmo's in it, but she doesn't mind if Gizmo comes in after she's in it, so I took um, Gizmo out, and then I uh, let Gadget go in. As soon as Gizmo was out, Gadget dove in, and then I let Gizmo in, and they've been there ever since. And now Gizmo's tail is out of the bed. I had to show you guys these. I feel like a lot of Disney vloggers do like lots of merchandise stuff, and we're not big collectors, although I guess I could show off my collection case. I'm warming up my lunch. But I don't collect, like, wishables or, I mean, I have a couple vinyl nations, but they were, like, specifically chosen, like, this little Mickey guy. And some of these are, like, super old. Like, these are from the 90s. These are probably from the early 2000s. Um, but, yeah, I don't collect a lot of stuff. Um but when I see certain like household items that I just must have, then I get really excited. So here are my Cinderella spatulas. I'm in love with them. If you don't know, they actually have some super cute kitchen stuff out. It seems to be like they're focusing on Beauty and the Beast, Cinderella, and Toy Story. Let me see if I can find the pot holders I just got. Yeah, look, these go with the... Uh, I got these right after Disney Springs reopened. Um, we haven't even used them that year. They're still connected, um, but love it. They also have Prince Charming and Cinderella aprons, but um, I'm not a cook, so we will not be getting those, though I tried to convince Duncan he needs the Prince Charming one. Um, but yes, excited to add these to my collection. As soon as I cut the, cut the tags off, they will be going right in here for use. So, I broke my rule of productivity. I feel like I've been saying that a lot. But sometimes, you just need to get out of the house. So, Duncan's home, obviously. And we're gonna go eat. Because I'm kinda, starving. We're kind of curious if this is gonna be at 100%, because if you didn't know, Florida supposedly opened 100% restaurant capacity. A lot of chains, are not doing it um, because they keep it pretty consistent, at least so far. I think as states start to open up, things will start to like open up. Yeah, um, like per state, like they closed. Yeah. But we don't know. It'll feel. I'll be kind of excited if it's a hundred percent, honestly, and it'll feel super strange, like I'm doing something wrong. Yeah. But I'm, I'm hungry. so hungry. Let's go. Daily Disney. The weekend, October 3rd and 4th, Frozen. I'll meet you guys at the castle. Olaf shouts to Kristoff and Anna as he speeds into Arendelle. Kristoff warns Olaf to stay out of sight, but Olaf immediately shouts hello to a citizen who screams at the sight of a talking, waving snowman gliding past her door. Wee. So... We realized that we never followed up after dinner. Um, we just kind of didn't film anything there. But um, we were waiting for a table and they still were not open 100%. But strangely, after we'd been waiting for like 15 minutes, the host came up to us and asked if we would be okay. Sitting next to somebody. Yeah, like... In a booth next to a booth. No six feet. No yeah. skipping booths. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. Because really, you're still at two separate booths. It's fine. And um, boom. 
we, we sat, were. We and then as we were sitting down, though, I was like, did you ask the people that were already sitting if they were okay with it? I mean, I'm fine with it, but are they? But they didn't seem to care. <sighs> My guess is that they sat the section we were in with only people who were like, oh. okay with being around other people. Because they, cause they sat us only in the bar. So my guess is they asked everybody going into the bar, like, are you okay being next to somebody? That's actually really smart. Yeah, that's why I made the joke of, you know, restaurants are going to probably have, like, uh, a COVID and a non-COVID section. Well, don't say it like that. That sounds terrible. Which is the big piece of plexiglass dividing it. They can bring all their smoking section stuff back. What? Like when restaurants had smoking and non-smoking and like there were like dividers and stuff and like I different really rooms. I feel like there were really yeah. dividers. Nowhere I went had dividers. And you went to sketch places. No, it sounds like you went to sketch places. Um, anyway. So... Today is done. I'm actually tired before midnight. It's probably the allergies. Which is never a thing for me. But yeah, we're gonna go to bed. Everyone needs deadlines. Bye bye. Yeah, thanks for coming to the show. And for a little flirt. I've been here. And for a little